Hi, this is Yoga Dose. I'm Indy Fight Master, and today we're going to be doing a power yoga flow class for strength. Uh, we're going to be making our way onto all fours for this practice, and we're just going to start with some basic cat cows. So, when you're ready on your next inhale, we're going to lift the chest up, hinging the hips upward as well, looking up toward the ceiling. Exhale, fold forward, crunching your abs. Inhale for cow. Exhale, make your way into cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale to cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale to cat and we're going to inhale to a neutral spine we're going to bring our right arm out left leg out as well and exhale contracting bringing your elbow and your knee toward your stomach inhale extend exhale contract inhale extend exhale to contract Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. And we're gonna inhale, make our way back onto all fours. We're gonna bring our left arm out, right leg out as well. Exhale, bringing everything in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, slowly contract. Engage your core, bend your back. Inhale, to extend, exhale, contract, inhale, extend, exhale, contract, inhale, extend, and we're going to exhale back onto all fours, and we're going to lift the knees up off the mat, making our way into downward dog. Keep the palms flat on the mat. Feel free to bicycle your legs here. Make your way to the breath. And we're gonna inhale the left leg into the air. Exhale, step it up to the front of your mat with your back knee down, lifting up into a crescent pose. And we're gonna exhale, extend the front knee for a nice stretch. Think belly to thighs here rather than trying to hinge your head toward your shins to better lengthen the spine. Try to keep your front ankle engaged here as well. And we're gonna inhale back to knee over ankle. Make your way into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, making your way back into downward dog. And we're gonna inhale the right leg into the air. Exhale, step it up to the front of the mat with our back knee down, lifting the arms into the air. Exhale, and extend your front foot, hinging from your hips forward onto your front leg. Just feeling that stretch here. And we're gonna inhale back to knee over ankle, making our way into plank, chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog. Exhale to downward dog. We're gonna be here for a couple of breaths. Make sure your shoulders are back, you know, they're not creeping up on your ears. And on your next inhale, we're gonna make our way into plank, leaning onto our right side, bringing our right shin to the floor for a variation of side plank. And as you exhale, we're gonna rotate the arm, getting the shoulders 
warmed up. Inhale on, at the top. Exhale on your way down. Inhale up. Exhale, rotating your arm. Inhale up. Exhale. Going clockwise. Inhale. Exhale. And bring your arm back up. We're going to swing into plank. Chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog. Exhale. Make your way back into downward dog. And on your next inhale, we're going to do the same thing on the left side. So slowly lean over to your right. Bring your Sorry, your left, bring your left knee onto the mat, lifting, looking up toward the ceiling. And we're just gonna exhale, rotating the arm, getting a nice stretch in the shoulders and your side body. As you inhale, you're rising your arm up. And as you're exhaling, you're bringing it back down. So just go at your own pace here. Whatever works for you best. And on your next inhale, make your way back up. Bring both palms onto the mat for your chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog, and we're going to exhale back into downward dog. Take a couple breaths here to recover. And on your next inhale, we're going to bring the right leg into the air. We're going to exhale, step it up to the front of the mat for a crescent, but with the knee off the mat. Exhale, make your way back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, topward dog. Exhale, make your way into downward dog. We're going to inhale the left leg into the air. And we're going to exhale, stepping it up to the front of the mat, making your way into crescent pose. Exhale, back to plank, chaturanga, inhale upward dog. Exhale to downward dog. And on your next inhale, we're going to step both the feet to the front of the mat for a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And we're going to inhale, sweep the arms up into chair pose, so keep your knees bent. We're going to exhale, bringing our hands to our chest. Hook your left elbow past your right knee, looking up, if that's okay, on your neck. And on your next exhale, we're going to switch sides, hooking the Right elbow past the left knee. On your next inhale, we're going to sweep the arms up, extending the legs, arching your back, getting a nice back bend here. And we're going to exhale, hands to chest. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale for a forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, we're gonna make our way back into plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, to upward dog. Exhale, making your way back into downward dog. And we're gonna inhale, step or hop, back to the front of the mat for a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And we're gonna inhale, stepping the right foot back sweeping the arms up into crescent. And we're gonna exhale, making our way into plank, chaturanga, inhale, upward dog. Exhale, making your way back into downward dog. And we're gonna lift the right leg into the air. Exhaling, stepping it up to the front of the mat, sweeping the arms up to crescent. And we're gonna exhale, Making your way back into plank, chaturanga, inhale, upward dog. 
exhaling into downward dog. And on your next inhale, we're gonna step or float to the front of the mat for a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And we're gonna inhale, bringing the left leg back for a crescent. Exhaling to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, make your way back into downward dog. We're gonna lift the left leg into the air. And we're gonna exhale, stepping it to the front of the mat for another crescent pose. Exhale, make your way into plank, chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog. Exhale, back to downward dog. We're gonna be here for a few breaths, so try your best to recover. And on your next inhale, we're gonna bring the left leg into the air, and you can unlevel your hips, getting a nice twist. And on your next exhale, we're gonna step it up to the front of the mat, making our way into warrior two. We're gonna inhale, sweeping back. And exhale, we're gonna hinge forward, knee over ankle, bring your right arm over your head. And inhale, Back to center, and we're gonna exhale, cartwheel the arms to plank, chaturanga, inhale to upward dog. Exhale, making your way back into downward dog. And now we're gonna inhale the right leg into the air. You can unlevel your hips here, getting a nice twist. And we're gonna level the hips, Step the foot up, flatten the back foot. Make your way into warrior two. And we're gonna inhale, reverse. Leaning back, getting a stretch in the side body. Still keeping our knees over our ankles. Inhale, and we're gonna hinge forward. You can rest your right arm on your knee, or you can bring it all the way down to the mat. And we're gonna inhale back to center. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down to plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, make your way back into downward dog. And on your next uh, inhale, we're gonna slowly walk the hands back toward our back feet, widening, widening our feet as wide as the mat, making your way into a squat. We're gonna recover the breath here, getting a deep hip opening. We're gonna bring our right arm to the mat, left arm to the sky. Option to wrap your arms behind you, looking over your left shoulder. Getting a nice shoulder stretch here. Inhale back to center. We're gonna bring our left arm onto the mat. Inhale, bring your right arm up. Exhale, wrap your arms behind you. Looking over your right shoulder. And we're gonna inhale back to center. Bring your hands back onto the mat. Make your way into all fours here. And we're just gonna lean back for a brief child's pose. You can keep your arms out in front of you or you can bring them to your sides, your choice. And we're gonna inhale to all fours, making our way back into downward dog. And we're gonna inhale 
the left leg into the air, exhaling, stepping it up to the front of the mat, flattening the back foot for warrior one. And as you exhale here, we're gonna hinge forward, sort of bowing here in this position. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And we're gonna exhale, making our way into plank. Chaturanga, inhale to upward dog. Exhale, making your way into downward dog. We're gonna inhale the right leg up into the air. And we're gonna exhale, step it up to the front of the mat, flatten the back foot into warrior one. And we're gonna hinge forward, bowing. Inhale, swoop the arms up. Exhale, hinging forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up. There's Corey, my cat. Exhale, bowing forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bowing forward. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And we're gonna exhale, palms on the mat. Make your way into plank, chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog. Exhale, making your way into downward dog. Stay here for a couple breaths. And on your next inhale, we're gonna step to the front of the mat uh, for a half lift. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, and we're gonna make our way onto the long side of our mat. So bring your feet out wide. We're gonna inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, hinge from the hips, folding forward as much as you can in your body today. Some people even bring their heads all the way onto the mat. We're just gonna pause here, enjoying the stretch. And we're gonna inhale, crawling our arms toward the left foot, getting a deeper stretch in the left hamstring. And on your next exhale, we're gonna make our way back to center. Inhale, crawling over to the right side, grabbing the Right shin. And we're gonna inhale back to center, keeping our left arm in the middle of the mat and inhaling, bringing our right arm toward the ceiling. Exhale, switch arms, bringing your left arm up. And we're gonna exhale, bring them back down. And we're just gonna bring the left foot out, knee over ankle, into warrior two. Inhale, reach back for a reverse warrior. And exhale, windmill the arms all the way down to plank, chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. And we're gonna inhale, stepping back up to the front of the mat for a half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to center. Make our way back onto the long side of our mat. Inhaling, sweeping the arms up. Exhaling for another forward fold. Try to relax here. Make sure your shoulders aren't tense and your jaw isn't tense. (sighs) 
And we're going to inhale, bring our hands to our hips, bring the uh, right leg out, knee over ankle for a warrior two. We're going to inhale for a reverse. And we're going to exhale, sweeping the arms down to plank, chaturanga. Inhale to upward dog. Exhale, making your way into downward dog. And we're going to step or hop to the front of the mat, flipping back around. Uh, we're going to bring our soles of feet onto the mat here, slowly lowering down, one vertebrae at a time, engaging your abs. We're going to uh, bring our arms uh, yoga mat length. And when you're ready, we're going to inhale, lifting the hips off the mat interlocking your fingers under you. Maybe bring your shoulders under you as well. For a bridge pose. And we're gonna exhale, slowly lower. We're gonna bring our soles of feet together, knees apart. Come back to the breath here. Feel your heart rate. And we're gonna inhale, bringing the soles of feet back onto the mat, lifting our hips, interlocking with our other pinky facing the bottom of the mat, bringing your shoulders under you, chin away from chest, and focus on the breath in this position. Exhale, slowly lowering, bringing once again, soles of feet together, knees apart, one hand on your stomach, one hand on your chest. And we're gonna inhale, bringing the soles of feet back onto the mat, you can make your way into bridge pose again, or feel free to bring your hands by your head and lift up to wheel pose, pausing at the crown of the head, lifting up, make sure your elbows are parallel with the mat. And as you slowly lower, bring your chin toward your chest, soles of feet together, knees apart. Pausing here. We're gonna bring our knees toward our chest for a nice big hug. You can lean side to side or go up back and forth to massage your back. And on your next inhale, find the soles of your feet. We're gonna make our way into happy baby. You can do the same thing here, rocking side to side. Feels really good on your back. And we're gonna bring our knees back in toward our chest and we're gonna slowly rock to the front of our mat, extending our legs out in front of us. We're gonna inhale, sweep the arms up, and exhale, hinging from the hips, and uh, just moving in as much as you can. Think stomach to thighs here, rather than bringing your head toward your shins to better elongate the spine. Inhale, back to center, bringing our left leg in. Bring your right elbow past your left knee for a twist, looking over your left shoulder. Make sure your front leg is engaged, and your ankle is as well. 
And with every breath, try to uh, elongate the spine. And with every exhale, see if you can twist just a little bit more. And we're going to exhale back to center. Inhaling, bringing the other leg in. Bring your left elbow past your right knee for a twist. Looking over your left shoulder. Once again, make sure your left ankle is engaged here. And still try to focus on if anything is tense. See if you can just relax into the pose here. And we're going to exhale back to center. Bring the soles of feet onto the mat. We're going to once again slowly lower one vertebrae at a time, engaging our core. And we're going to bring our left ankle over our uh, right knee for thread the needle. So we're going to bring our interlace either on our shin or on your thigh, whatever works best for you, as long as you're feeling a stretch in your glutes and your hamstrings. Make sure both of your ankles are engaged here. And you're just trying to pull your shin in toward your chest. On your next exhale, slowly lower. Keep your left leg over your right. We're gonna shift the hips off to the left side, bringing our legs over to the right, looking over the left shoulder. And we're gonna inhale back to center. We're gonna bring the right shin uh, over our left knee. And we're going to do another thread the needle, interlocking the other interlace. Uh, you can interlock behind your thigh or in front of your shin. Once again, as long as you're feeling a stretch. And on your next exhale, we're going to bring the right leg over the left, bringing the legs off to the left side and looking over your right shoulder. Make sure you're still practicing ujjayi breath here. Even though we are close to our final resting pose. Inhale the legs back to center. We're gonna extend our legs out in front of us. Bring your sitting bones towards the backs of your knees. And we're gonna keep our palms out and open. And just see if you can fully let go and relax in Shavasana. Quiet mind, quiet body, Shavasana.
begin to deepen your breath. Start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, rolling your ankles and your wrists. Bring your arms over your head, inhaling for a big good morning stretch. And on your next exhale, we're gonna make our way onto our side, pausing here for gratitude. Be grateful that you showed up on your mat today. You did amazing. And we're gonna slowly make our way back up to seated, head coming up last. Bring your hands to your chest. Bowing forward, namaste. Thank you so much for joining my practice today. Make sure to leave a like, and if you want a morning practice, click right here. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.